Um, hello everybody, good morning. Going to be doing a uh, speed test on the T-Mobile 5G low band network. Um, I found out that, <laughs> surprisingly, I found out that um, it was banned N41, not, uh, N71, sorry. I think it was banned N41 um, in San Antonio. So right now, I'm actually doing a far away speed test. Um, if you're right next to the tower, you'll get like 200 megabits. But I'm trying to do it far away with full bars, if that makes sense. So at night, uh, you know, T-Mobile has really, really good upload speeds of any carrier. I don't understand why, though. Um, I don't know if it's their specific spectrum of band. But T-Mobile, you know, where they do have coverage, man, they have really good upload speeds. Almost every single tower that I connect to with T-Mobile will have faster upload speeds than download speed. And let me tell you why this is a good thing. The faster the upload speed, the faster the download speed, the faster the connectivity and the higher quality. It's like 150 megabits right here. Um, and I am far away from the tower. There are no other towers around me. I am in a straight line, V-line um, area towards that tower. But that tower right now is a quarter, uh, half a mile away from me. But I am in its. Uh, I can see it directly. So this is how much speed you're gonna get if you're half a mile away from this tower. But remember, you're in the middle of nowhere, though. Like you're, you're, you know, this is the middle of nowhere. But this is a highly impressive. I mean, a hundred megabits um, per second, half a mile away from a tower, is extremely impressive to get 150 megabits this far from a tower, and then. The upload speed going above 20 megabits per second. About as fast as, uh, I guess you could say, TWC Spectrum's upload speed on their uh, 300 megabit plan or 400 megabit plan. So 25 megabits. I mean, that's not bad, man. A lot of people don't know how good that is. Um, 27 millisecond ping. Um, let me go ahead and uh, switch it over to... One second. Let me switch it over to 4G, just for you guys. Oh, and by the way, this phone just got unlocked, too. <laughs> Uh, not too long ago. So, anyways, okay, all right. So let's do a three G speed test, aka four G LTE. So this is a four G LTE speed test. Now, if you have more than four bars with T Mobile, I would recommend getting them. If you're not like a country slicker, unless uh, T Mobile specifically says that they have good service in your area. In other words, that one tower. For your city, you'll be covered nicely, and you'll probably have really good speeds. I've seen 250 megabits in Victoria, Texas, on T-Mobile, and over 50 megabit upload speed. I mean, see, this is why I like T-Mobile. On their 4G LTE, see, I only got like 25, but on their 4G speeds, I've gotten 39 megabit uploads. See, and I'm far from the tower, too. I'm not, like, right next to it. So, I mean, that's very impressive. A lot of people don't understand how impressive that really is. And then right now, I'm going to go ahead and pause this video because I'm going to open up the 4G Switch app. So we're getting over 100 megabits on regular 4G. So if you had an iPhone, these are the kind of speeds that you would expect. But the new iPhones coming out will have 5G built into them. And I think that'll be awesome. So 113 megabits down. And over fucking 40 megabit upload speed that far from the tower? Okay. That is amazing. That is am This is why I like T-Mobile, man. You don't even have to be next to the tower to get that speed at this point now. But, I mean, T-Mobile just has that upload speed. Like, I, I've always praised T-Mobile for having the best upload speeds. Look, T-Mobile may not have the best network yet. You know, even though they bought Sprint, they still suck in some areas. Actually, pretty much everywhere away from a major city. But, I mean, their speeds of the upload speeds are always amazing when you're connected to them. Now, if only they could build out a network like AT&T and have those kind of upload speeds on almost all the towers... It would be a faster, you know, you can access websites faster if there's like only one or two bars because of the high upload speed. So even if you don't have full bars, it's actually pretty amazing at how well you can still connect. So now I'm going to connect it over just to regular 4G and do a 4G speed test. So let me pause this video while I open up the app because it always shows the IMEI number when I open it up. Okay, let's see if it'll connect or not. Okay, we got our full bars. There's that 4G. Okay, now we're on 4G. It did show the IME. I knew it was going to do that. Okay, so now we're on... Well, this is 3... I don't know what to call it. So this is the middle of the night. We're getting 4 megabits, 6 megabits. Actually, that's pretty impressive. Um, So we're getting 5 megabits, and now we're down to 4 megabits again. No, exactly 5 megabits. That's actually really good for WCDMA. 
I really like their 4G. Even the 4G speeds are fast. And 2 megabit upload speed, almost 3 megabit upload speed. That's really good, man. Wow, over 3 megabit upload speed on 4G. Man, that shit's fast. Excuse me. Seven megabit. Hmm, almost seven megabit upload. Okay, seven megabit upload. Almost four megabit. Oh, oh my gosh! Wow. Four megabit upload speed. Oh man, that is really good for four G. That is really good. <laughs> It's like a little Wi it's like a little Wi-Fi hotspot, man. Alright, let's go ahead and set it over to 2G. Um 2AJ 2AJ. Wait, um 2G. Alright, let's do a 2G speed test. I'll close this app out because I don't want it showing me. Alright, let's uh let's wait for it to connect. If it does, um that'll be pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and do a 2G speed test here, and there it is, okay, so 2G. I like how it just shows bars with T-Mobile on the speed test on that app. Alright, it's connected to their 2G network. This is going to take forever. Wow, that didn't take that long. 160 millisecond ping. It is working at a little bit, a little bit faster than dial-up. Almost point ten. That's probably really fast for 2G. I don't even know why this still exists. Wow, that's like almost two times faster than dial-up. Huh. Interesting. But you gotta remember, this shit is like far, far. I'm, I'm surprised it still works, to be honest. That's almost two times uh, the speed of dial-up, a 56K modem. That's, that's pretty good. I mean, you ain't going to get better than that. So, hold on. Let me pause this. Okay. All right. So, let's see if we can access any websites on this 2G. I mean, there really should not be anybody on this. It should be so slow that it should barely work. Um, it should work because it's two times faster than dial-up, though. 0.10 megabits per sec. I mean, it's slow for 2020, especially with 4K, 2K, you know, 1080p streaming. <laughs> you definitely ain't going to stream movies on a 2G network, but let's see if it works. I mean, we're, we're at full bars um, of 2G, middle of nowhere. Um, I have a straight line site with a tower. This is like going back in like 2000 and, I don't know, 2010. It might not even load. I mean, really, who the hell knows, really? Um, I really like T-Mobile, though. T-Mobile has really good speeds. And this cell phone has such good antenna on it. I mean, it really does, though. I mean, that's... I mean, this is not... That's not bad. You know, for it to load that slowly. But, I mean, if you were like... Let's just pretend that we're in, like, in a remote country... I mean, let's see, we could, okay, it actually loaded the website, I was surprised, um, that's, I'm not gonna lie, but that's impressive, um, you know, that's, that's pretty impressive, okay, let's, uh, let's, let's see if we could at least try to get, um, a news, news, new, your, no, let's say we're out in a remote area of a country, let's just say news, uh, CBC, um, CBC, uh, Canada news, let's say we're out on limited 2G speeds in Canada or Mexico or whatever, it loads, I mean, look, it loads, it's slow, Ottawa spending another 600 million to help businesses survive lockdowns, huh, wow. Wow, at least they're helping each other's people, huh? Unlike the United States government that doesn't give a fuck about us.
Okay, let's see if we can even get to their cbc.ca uh, website. cbc.ca. Let's see how long it takes on 2G. I mean, eventually they're going to get rid of this 2G, I'm sure of it. But, I mean, it's still better than nothing. I mean, it works. I mean, it's slow. <laughs> but, hey, it's better than nothing. I'll tell you what. It's better than nothing. I'll tell you that right now. It's slow as shit, but, hey, at least it works. If you know what I mean. At least it works. See, we can... Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. What's going on? I guess I didn't want to load. There it goes. There it goes. Loading. Hold on. Which is really freaking slow. I'm surprised it's not timing out. Usually with this stuff, it times out. So... Let's just say we're in Canada, and, uh, you know, I mean, I know I'm far from Canada, but with lower latency these days, with all that, uh, shit, it should be fine, I mean, technically. It looks like it's receiving data. It's slow, but it looks like it is trying to receive data. It's sending the data out. Uh, to request the website, but let's see if it'll load. I, I mean, you could, if you look at the bar on the top there, it's 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 trying to load the website. But remember, <laughs> websites are not like back in 2010 when everything was very, you know, low bandwidth, you know, because it was made for the slower network, so it would load faster, actually, as weird as that sounds. Well, at least it ain't 1G. I wonder what 1G speeds are. I don't even want to know. They're probably like 20 kilobits, 10 kilobits. Hmm. I remember dial-up. True. I do remember the dial-up. I guess it ain't going to load the website. Alright guys, it ain't gonna load the website, but that's fine. Thank you guys for watching.